Hi everyone, thanks for joining for the day seven of ASL 104 training. And uh, we, this will be the last day of the training and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed so far and uh, also answer to the assessment and uh, and uh, I'm giving the mic to Hassan and uh, we'll be getting started. Over to you. Hello Surak, how are you? And hello everyone for good evening. Uh, as Surak says, today is the last uh, session of the training and we will cover today the last office of data recovery. It is actually called data protection. It means data reco backup and recovery. Before going to the module, I will review the questions of the last uh, assessment. So I'm starting from question number one. So question number one was you have multiple apps running in a single app service plan. True or false? Each app in the service plan can have different scaling rules. It will be false because in a service plan you have to put one single rules. Then question number two, which of the following settings are not swapped when you swap an app? Select three, handle handler mapping, publishing endpoints, general settings such as framework version 32 or 64 bit all web sockets always uh, another option is always on and custom domain names actually this is a three you cannot swap this is the, the that one is uh, b publish and uh, publishing endpoints d always on and e custom domain names now question number three you are administrating a production web app the the app the app requires scaling to of five instances 40 gb of storage and a custom domain name which app service plan you should use you select select one this one it will be standard you have to choose the standard plan which is meeting by this uh, requirements that uh, are uh, in the questions so question number four you are backing up your app service which of the following in is included in the backup select two which by which configuration we will go for the uh, you can include it in the backup so it will be app configuration and as your database for mysql and question number five is you decide to move all your services to azure kubernetes service which of the following component will you contribute or to your monthly Azure charge. What will be the monthly Azure charge? The only monthly Azure charge will be custom node virtual machines, actually, where the you will put the code and you will put the files of apps. That node, you have to pay the charges. Other node, like production node, you don't need to uh, you know, uh, charge because that node was maintained and managed by the but, uh, Azure Azure portal or Azure service or Microsoft provider. So these are the things. So I am starting the today's module data protection. So I'm sharing the slide as well as then we will go to the portal and we will ch uh, check the how we will uh, back up data and how we will recover it. So today the last class. So I'm starting now. So this is the module 11 and it is the Azure data protection, how we will protect data. Data protection means not like to restrict data. It is just how you will protect data if there is anything happen in the system. So first of all, we will go through the slides. What we will learn here, how we do how to make backup with file and folder then how we'll make backup a virtual machine and then we'll go for lab and review there are two way one way is to backup from azure for files or from the on premise suppose you have a uh, you know uh, you have a server or any workstation station in the on premise so you want to connect with the azure backup with this on premise then also you can control the backup from your portal also so this is for azure workloads from azure portal you can choose workload from 
your Azure and which one for Azure file share. There are there are four type of uh, backup you can make Azure virtual machine. Another is file share, any file or a SQL server, any SQL server which is running on any Azure VM or Snap HANA is Azure VM. So we will uh, today we will uh, discuss with these two because AZ104 is covering these two. And there is on-premise workload. On-premise workload, when we like Azure file share, there is only one option is there, files and folders. This one, if you click this one, if you select these options, then it will, uh, you know, back up your on-premise, any files and folders. We will learn from the portal as well very soon. So first of all, uh, and this is the on-premise, how to make on-premise. This one also we will go in the practical way and how we will back up and there's these things. So, so let's go and check the, uh, let's go virtual machines also we will do. Before, before that, we will go and check the how we will can back up and recover the file share. So as you know, this is my, but this is my, as your portal so first of all i will go for recovery service so you will type here recovery recovery service vaults because you need to first of all make a vault like as your plan they make a vault then from in the uh, vault you will do this is from another class for a recovery one i will create here another for your class recovery two i will make it just make it create so you will choose here the subscription what you are working on it now now as a resources resources make it like this and then vault name any vault name so i will put it recovery two okay then east us you can make it east us or suppose east us because we have uh, networking there so East US will be better. So go for East US next networking. So allow public from the all networks, deny public from all networks, allow private networks. So if you put here, then you have to put some DNS zone or add some, you know, uh, the uh, identify the network and subnet. But we will prove that allow public access from all networks. So next will be tax, as we know, as we know that uh, function of tax and everything. So you will go for review and create. And it is review is done, so create. So it is initializing deployment. Let's wait some time. So it's working. You can see here, or, or you can click here. Then it will be go. You will. They will show you the operation details, timestamp, and everything. There is some parameters there. So actually, these are the in the questions. Azure questions you can ask. However, you can see the operation details in a pictures. They you can show this screenshot and check like A, B, C like this. They will label it. So you can. Uh, choose from here also. These are the things just I show you why because it can it can come as a question in the Azure exam. So we are waiting for deployment. It will take some time. It is done. So go to the resource. Now I'm going to the recovery to resource. Here we will start the work of data backup and recovery. This is the overview of suppose backup and recovery. So first of all, we will go for backup. So how will backup? Backup will work like this way. We will click here backup, backup panel will come. So there is a backup. Uh, what is written here? The storage applications is set to zero redundant. These options cannot be changed later. Before proceeding further, click here. If you want to change the you know backup policy, geo redundant, then it is now it is geo redundant. Suppose if you change to uh, local redundancy or something any other like that, 
then you can click here and you can change but i, I put it like this as it is so this is which what, what is your workload now like azure azure slack hub azure stack hsi or on premise so i put it azure so we will we will go through the azure and on premises here so first of all i will go for azure now what is the options from azure i will azure file share now go for backup it will backup file share select the storage if you have no storage first of all you have to create a storage here so which storage you want to backup so file so we will put here there is uh, no storage here storage there should be storage here we will create one storage no storage accounts in found okay let's create one storage here because i may be used one storage already for recovery one that's why it's not taking here so let's create another storage and files storage This storage is already used backup by another recovery. So that's why this storage account is not coming. So I'm creating another one. I we know actually how to create a storage. It's okay. Name Yasin2. Stews standard funds. We will put it as it is. Networking is there's no, no, okay, no problem. There is no issues there. So just go for next, 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 and next check. Review and create. Let's for validation. This is running for validation. If is, is everything okay, then it is. No, everything okay. Now it's create. So now also just wait for the creating a, then we will create a file, sh file share. Then we will go there. Now it's okay. Now we will create from here file because we need to. So it's not deploying here. Suppose in this storage there is a there will be a file. That file we want to make backup. So this is the story and this is the your our motto. So we are making one storage, yes in two, under this uh, yes in two, we will make a file and we will put, we will, we will, you know, we will back up those files. So this is yes in two came, go to resources. So where is, hey, this is file shares, just click here. name file back Let's put the name file back and create is the file back so like a basket or you can connect here this folder this folder will be connect as you show this this one also connect from the uh, you know, from with your uh, your PC like this way, uh, script is running the script and also connect for with the actually synchronized in your ear. And now we will sh back up these folders. How? From here. Now select. Look, yes, in came. Click here. OK. Now full folder will be backup. This might take a minute. We're just waiting. It will take some time actually.
So it's done. Now we will add. So there is a file back. There's an XSMB. It's automatic created. So we just OK. And now go for this is the policy. There are a lot of policy there. So you can edit this policy also by checking from here. So which are the policy? Policies is daily. Frequently daily in 7.30 p.m. It will uh, universal time zone or any time zone you can check here. Uh, it will be backup, okay? And it will return to the daily backup after 30 days. So these are the, you can change here also. So I keep it as it is, then click enable backup. So backup is going on to create that backup. And one thing, if you are planning to go for exam as at 104, then please go through the every modules and uh, you know work hard, go for practical and also read properly uh, there is a lot of question will come from practical and working area also so please it's not a very easy exam 700 will be the pass mark it means 70 percent so please be prepared strongly and if you want to do this is my suggestion if you want to go for azure exam start from tomorrow don't back don't gap if you gap then you will you, it's very difficult for you to start up again and give the exam and pass so go to resources recovery tool here so already there's a backup is here so this is backup to discuss is very important so this is already we can go the backup items so how many backup items there there is we put one backup items what is what is that one that one is as you restore as you storage as your files backup policy if you click here then backup policy will come here so these are the thing you can go for backup and suppose now we will go for how to backup from my on-premise data So again, go backups. Now we will go for on premise. It's a very interesting and it's a some configuration you need to remember. So please carefully. So there, if you have a Hyper V virtual machine there, any VMware virtual machine there in your SQL server, if your SharePoint action system state, bare metal recovery, any recovery you can do, but we will do here files folder because it is on our so this is the prepare for these things we will work uh, this thing we will work in our uh, local machine so i will de do in our local machine so just click here so it's coming there will be installer marsa installer in agent installer will be there There will be agent which will you know which will be uh, uh, made of on premise my on premise and my azure so click here it will set up or yes
there's some requirements for these setups, maybe .NET and other things. It will check here. If it is not here, then it will automatically set up with that. So these are the things. So you will go for next. So installation folder has cache location is here. It will be a cache location there. So you connect internet a proxy. No, I'm not connected with the proxy. I, I don't need any Microsoft update. Uh, yes, everything is here. The prerequisite. So it is now copying new file server installations. Uh, one agent software or agent app is installing in my computer. No setuping. So it's done. Proceed for now to registration. It will register. So there is he is asking for a bold credential. So wh where when where I will get this? We'll click here and we will click there. So this is the survey bold. There is the credentials. So now go here and browse. And in downloads, it is there. So click here. Sorry, where is the old credential? Again, I can download. Let's go over session. No, it's not downloading here. Download this Azure service agent update package now. No, where this should be gone. No, this one is different. Let's check. Download port or initial list in the visible 10 days already downloaded or using. Already, uh, yes, already downloaded. Now you can go download. Sorry, I just click. I already downloaded. So here is the credential downloaded in maybe in my uh, downloads. So downloads, yes, this is the credentials information there for my Azure portals. This is checking and validating my credential. If everything is OK, then it will start for encryption and server registration. <clears throat> now it's done. So you just make you can do your password or I can make a generate password. Browse from browse you can put anywhere here or any just. PC it's a PC so you can put here pieces any PC there so I'm just putting here this PC and just in local disk C or any supposing there is any uh, suppose I put it here EST. OK. Now finish. They're telling that it is in the uh, my uh, volt is in the my uh, local PC. So if there is a problem in local PC, this session can be lost. So I told is OK, no problem. Now it's registering the server with my Azure backup.
You just wait. And it's a very important thing, another thing to go to work in a you know practical or uh, practical lab or something lab. In a Google, you can search some practical lab by the suppose in Active Directory, you can uh, search any practical lab for in a uh, you know in Azure Active Directory, you will find a lot of practical lab questions. Then you can you can solve that one to make it or boost up your confidence. To, uh, about working by uh, you can go for module by module to check the uh, you know suppose VMs or something practical or serverless computing so you can go like this so this is a done already so there's a warning warning is the storing uh, the uh, uh, that password in locally can lead the problem so no problem the password file is here as your backup is the available for this server in here no problem so I make it launch, it will launch automatically. So close and it will launch here. So this is the launching the Azure backup system. So you want a day backup. So we will make a Azure backup. So the server is re registered already. Uh, so go for a recover schedule backup. Suppose which item you want to backup. Suppose you click here, C drive, which item, any item you can choose here or uh, from pine here, any item, then you can go for backup. Suppose users public downloads. Desktop. Suppose any I am taking suppose. PC downloads. Suppose there is a is a Z104. I am or anyone. Suppose anything you can. So that 104 I'm just backupping. So there is a folder here. So I want to back up this folder or you can choose multiple. No problem. So go for OK. It is or you can add items again here or if you need or you can remove here. So no problem. Go for next. So this is the schedule day 3 a.m. It will back up. Like this. So no, we are at following times maximum allowed three times in a day. Suppose 3 a.m. Uh, another is uh, you know in the mid time. Another is the night. So no problem. Just make it one as it is. So weekly return policy is weekly or monthly retention or yearly retention policy. You will check from here. It is online backup or offline backup transfer using Microsoft Azure data box or own disk. So I will make it online. Online, it will go to the Azure portal. So file and shares selected item. There is a C from B C, and initial backup creation in the network. So backup process creating a schedule and making a backup process. So it's done. So close here. So we have to make a schedule of backup process. LRC share. So if you go down, there is the system. Change the edition range here. No problem. Now, if you want to backup, so click here, it will backup now. I'm just showing the 25 today. The backup point is 25. The so next change properties, no need. This is the file you want to backup. Now backup. Now it is backing up. Which time it is showing? The local time of backing up.
data is transferring. So just wait. Now it's transferring. 12 MB data transferred. So after finish, it will create a complete in progress. It, the status is here. The status will be complete after finish. So just wait. Job complete, done. So backup is successfully completed. Now it's really close. Now if you want to recover, then you just click here, go here to recover data, and this server, this is my desktop or this server name, or if you put another server, then your full credential you will put here. Any credential is there, just we uh, receive or uh, in the registration time, then it will be there. So no need for this is the, this server, initial files and folders or volume, volume is full volume. So and we need only initial server files, that file. Select the volume, which volume? That one is in the C volume. So suppose now we put in here, suppose if we, there is a lot of data uh, back up there, so you can choose from here this or that then time also we come automatically but now we have only one backup this one is here now go for mount mount means like a d drive another drive will come with those data in your computer like to mount a cd or mount a file Taking time. Because it is mounting from the recovery volume. Actually, it is connecting with your portal and uh, you know, as your uh, data board in your PC, that's why it's become late or taking time. Actually, if there is a more data, then it will take more time. It will be better to practice with, you know, uh, small size of data. When you will practice, just practice with a file. So this is the bra. Now, look, there is another drive is coming here. So you just click here, browse. Okay. Now, this is the users. Click here, PC, downloads, AZ104. Now, these are the files came here, what we are going to back up and recover now here. So now we are change or you will copy from here in your uh, you know, safe places. Now you want to unmount, just click here, it will go unmount. Now there is no mount. So check here. So there is no any other drive here. Look, there's only one drive. 
If you go for mount, then it will be another type here. So this is from on-premise. How now we learn the how can we can file share and backup from on-premise and also in the Azure. Now we will check about the suppose if you want to recover the full uh, you know recover a virtual machines. So here we can, so far we have done some backup items. So we can check from here also. It will come here. So look. Agent Azure backup agent agent. This one is from on premise and Azure files. This is from Azure storage. So if you put the agent, then it will come some last backup. So there is no last backup written here. With details, it will come. These are some details. So last backup status not come yet. It will come. Latest is 638, like same oldest. If there is a backup is going on two or three or backup will come, then it will say it will the change will be there and last backup will come here automatically when their backup will be automatically done. But we did in force backup. That's why it's not coming here. It, when the system will backup, then it will come here the last backup. Then you can add here again backup any other backup if you want, then you can add here also. So this is the for Azure. File backup. Now we will go for virtual machine backup. Now it is Azure, and we will select a virtual machine. So before the going for virtual machine, so check the virtual machines here. Uh, I put virtual machine to make a virtual machine run up. It will be better. So we make this virtual machine to run. This is all a stop. So we start this one. So if it, it will be better if it is in a running position. These are the all are stop positions. So make it first of all any bit. You can back up from the running position also uh, stop position also, but it will be better that the PC will be run at that time. We are configuring the backup. So let's run this one. Then we will go to back up the this virtual machine test to do. I think it runs. Yes, it's running. Now I will go for recovery. So go for backup. Same. It is in Azure. So which type of backup you know, standard or enhanced? In standard, once a day, once a day in a backup, uh, up to five days, it will be operational tire, ball tire, and ZRS will not, zero, uh, zone redundancy will not support this one. Support trust. To trust it, any Azure VM, it will not travel. So it's enhance, then this is policy for it create a new enhance bus, but we can make it enhance default policy or create a new policy also from here. How same as we backup in the file share. So these are the options you can uh, schedule that you can check the options. So add the virtual machines, which virtual machine we want to backup. So create here, we make it test 22 and click OK. So it's came here for enable backup. You can OS disk only. If there's a two or three disks, you can put here OS disk. Just it will back up the operating system. Sometime we need to back up the OS only, then you can click here. That time the full VM will not back up, back up only the OS. The disk, which one is OS, that disk will be backup for that virtual machines. If disaster happen, then you can only recover the OS disk of those of that virtual machine, not the data disk or data recovery. So we put here full backup.
after the session, I will put my Facebook page and my LinkedIn page, LinkedIn profile link in the thread and in the Teams and also in the uh, you know WhatsApp Messenger. So if you face any questions or any problem regarding this session, you can uh, you know uh, you can contact with me. No problem. I I will try to solve those things. So this is the backup for virtual machines. It's already done backup. So how we will work, how we will check. So go here. Getting started. And you will check the virtual machine backup items here. From here, you can check. Yes, this virtual machine is there. So this is already passed. Warning for initial backup condition. Backup now. If you click here, backup now, it will click backup. View details. So these are the details will come. When crash, if it is crash, application, how application consistency and the file system consent. Warning initial backup needs. Suppose if you go for backup now, it will initial backup. If you want to restore, then you go for restore. So let's backup now. What happened? I can check. So triggering backup. Let's check. Backup in progress. There are a lot of options there. Suppose if you want to stop this backup now, you can stop the backup and resume again. No problem. So let's do the backup. So we can check the recover options also. Full VM is backupping, that's why it's taking time. So it's done. Say backup trigger successfully. Please monitor the progress in backup jobs pools. So it is already triggered for monitor to so give up give it instruction for backup. So we have to wait. To view the jobs, jobs in last four hours. What is any jobs there? Backup jobs. It is already done or not? Test to look backup in progress. We just configure backup. Everything is there. What is what type of job we have done for backup here? Suppose we make a uh, configure backup for files. These are all here. Desktop. We do the desktop backup one again. We restore everything is here and details also you go there. So this is in progress. Backup is in progress. So we have to wait for this for backup in progress. So before that, we just going to the. Uh, it, meanwhile, we can go to the PowerPoint to check the anything we left in the virtual machine backup. So these are the backups. There are some backup like snapshots. The three types of backup. One is snapshot in virtual machines in go to the virtual machine and take the snapshot. What is the snapshot? Many snapshot provide the quick and simple option for being a fan. Suppose you are working in a state and you just you just uh, take a snapshot. It mean it is backup up to that up to that status up to that status or up to that portion. So this is called a snapshot. So Azure backup, as we know that Azure backup is the supports application consistent backups of both Windows and Linux, both VM full backup. And as you site recovery, this is another thing. As you site recovery protects your VMs from a major disaster scenario when a whole region experience an outage. Suppose a whole region is an outage is going to down, then how it will recover? It will be a site recovery. It is called. So these are the, there are some workload protection. There are some backups from marketplace you can take from a backup here. There are a lot of backups option is there. You can choose any backups option is there from if you need more advanced backups. 
And these are the how the virtual machine snapshot is working. Use snapshots taken as a part of a backup job. As a backup job, you can put re, first of all take a snapshot, a snapshot of VM like this. Up to this, there is the option. If it is work any uh, suppose a, uh, uh, up to a uh, suppose a web server you install and take a snapshot. It means up to web server you can recover the snapshots here. So if there is a problem after that then you can uh, recover the snapshot then it the the state will go to the uh, the vm state will be go to the that uh, you know in, after the installation of uh, web server but after the install of web server you put take the snapshot and then you uh, you uh, configure the files of website and everything after that there will be disaster happen that time if you make the snapshot recover it will up to that portion of the setup of only setup of the uh, you know web server but it will not back up or recover your file that you configure after the taking snapshots configure stand restore retention only one to five days so these are the virtual machines how we will make it uh, the just we show now And site recovery, what happened? A full, as I told, that once full site is down, then what happened? What will be done? They replicate the Azure VMs on the Azure region to another region. One region to another region, they are backupping up. And application on premises, what will be backupping? They are backupping VM, VM1, network, disk, everything. Everything is replicated from here. Another replicate AWS Windows instance of Azure also, replicate on-premise VMware, everything will be replicated by another region. Suppose this region is down, then this region will, you can recover your all the, uh, you know, applications and uh, VM and everything, disk file from another region. So how it works, suppose a VM is working here, here you make it as a site recovery. So what happened? Suppose there is a storage account and there's sending uh, storage data is backupping up. There is a cache. We show that the cache data will be though, uh, replicate all simultaneously. There will be storage account and cache data. If and cache data is flow transforming the data to the replicate the another suppose central US region. There is another we replicate. Uh, we uh, make uh, you know site recovery options. So this data will sending to the storage account of uh, you know central US. If there is a failover, then automatically this VM will run and this will take the data from this backup. So this is the things. And this is the end of this presentation. So after this, we will uh, checking the backup and we will go for end of the presentation of database backup and recover. So it's also progress. So let's some time. Uh, meanwhile, we can check for site recovery also. So recovery two. So there is a site recovery. So if you click here, so this is the site recovery. What will seek over the site? So Azure virtual machines. So enable replications there. Where will we replicate? So these are the East US. So region will be where will be the Central US. This is a select storage. There is a resource group you have to make with Central US like this from the resource manager or classic. You can put no problem. Cloud source, you have no source cloud service, so resource manager will be better. So create a resource manager and central US. Then we'll put here and yes, and there will be virtual machines there. You will put same the virtual machines there and replication settings will come in that region. This is the way you can create a recovery site. So there will be two virtual machines. One will be the one uh, in running virtual machines like East US and another you will create same virtual machines, same type virtual machine in the central US. How you can make same time virtual machines, same configuration. It will be easy. You can download that uh, ARM template and upload those templates uh, as a replication, uh, as a, a same configuration, then it can deploy. So let's check about the VM. What about this backup items is done or not? Check Azure virtual machines. 
So these are the virtual machines. Backup pre-check, last backup is success. Let's check the success or not. View details. Uh, yes, it is saying says. Suppose your data now uh, there's a problem with your, uh, you know, there's a problem with your uh, VM. Now you want to restore. Just click here, restore VM. Full VM will restore. There is no restore point. The select here. There is one restore point here. We just click. So this one and click here. Now create new restore configuration or replacing the existing. This is the one thing. Thus, where you will create here, where you want to put, it will put there. Or create new, it will create new and new virtual machines there. Or, and the other one option is like just only file. So let's click here, details. It will be total PM. And this one is a file recovery. Select. Click. OK. Then download executables. Download the script of browse of recover files. Then you will be unmounted. Then you will put here. They will click here. Then it will be unmounted disk. A disk will come with the files as we show in the, uh, you know, uh, in the, the there is a local drive or so the machine where it run it will it, it will give the run there like here let's check the gender password taking time so it is it the process is like as it is in the like on-premise data recovery there's a mount a file will come with a mounted file and mounted drive then you can take those files and you can copy those files from your in your like uh, in your uh, targeted machines or uh, in uh, the you know that the, the uh, offline machines or every any any places any media files tape files any files you can take this one fail download i know i just click okay so this is the data protection and this is the ending of today's session to recover how to recover and backup data so if you have any questions you can ask me I will give the questions. Try to go up the questions here. So anyone have questions? PowerPoint will be shared. Yes, I will give to the Surak. Surak will distribute or sharing that slide. PowerPoint slide. Thank you very much all as you are in my training and have patience with me. I will try to give as much possible to cover the AZ104 modules. Now the part goes to you. Thank you, everyone. As we back up, thank you. And there is a question is how about Azure Backup Center? Azure Backup Center is nothing, just a you know this just control your backuping system from uh in from the Azure. All will be together in Azure Backup Center. Can you see the backup VM to another resources uh, group? For or and the yes, you can. First of all, you have to create those VM. Yes, backup can be automated. I show I show you that you just put the uh, 
uh, you know, parameters there, the schedule there, it will automatically. Thank you, thank you, Yasin, for the wonderful training, and uh, it was really resourceful, and uh, it was really understandable from your side. And uh, I hope everyone who joined with us was able to learn, and uh, it was helpful for them. And uh, and I hope to see you guys in the upcoming sessions as well with us. And uh, and the recording will be available shortly in the YouTube channel and the. Uh, presentations for the whole day will be shared in the community again. Is there any other question regarding the today's session or uh, any any doubts that you guys are having? There is a practice right. test. Yeah, there's a question of our practice test. You can go for practice test in the, uh, you know, in Azure, in a Microsoft Azure portal, or no, not Azure portal, actually Microsoft in Azure. If you go in the AZ104 site of Microsoft, there, there is some, you know, they have maybe two uh, practice exam there. I've given my Facebook page link and LinkedIn profile. So if you have any questions or if any problem further about this training, you can contact with me or you can ask me any questions there. So I will try to give your answer and I'll try to solve your. If there is no other questions, we can wind up the last day and the training. Yes, we can. I think there is no question anymore. So thank you everyone to joining this session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yasin, for your effort to be doing the training uh, out of your work hours and uh, being with us and uh, it was really great to have you with us and looking forward for the upcoming sessions as well. And uh, thank you all for being with us in the last seven days. And uh, it was great to have you guys. And I hope you were the session very useful and uh, it was uh, helped you with the training or your certifications. And uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you.